you ever think you were dreaming, maybe even wish you were dreaming, but you know down to the core that you're really not? Stuff's happening that scares the crap out of you, and there's this little place of safety deep inside that keeps trying to tell you, hey, it's okay, just chill a while and it'll go away. Yeah, it happens all the time, right? And I guess I'm not the only crazed, tormented soul out there after all. It makes it all seem just like that little bit less freaky. Maybe I'm not the demented nut job I thought I was. Yeah, I needed that. Maybe it's why I started this ridiculous log in the first place. Not just to hear my own voice spouting back all the paranoia I'm feeling, but to kind of convince myself that maybe someone else is listening, knows what I'm going through, understands what I'm talking about, that maybe I'm not the only one. Can I come in? Hey, I'm here. The door's open. Listen, I know you're in the middle of something, but I really need to talk to you. Yeah, I kind of got that. Maybe you should sit. Thanks. So, let's hear it. You do spying stuff, right? Follow people, figure out who they're with, what they're doing. Your husband cheating on you, is that it? I don't really go for that domestic stuff. I'd probably just walk right up and clock him one, then beat the truth out of him. So no, no spying. Surveillance, a little up the story work. Occasionally I bend a few rules, exert some pressure where it's least wanted, you know the kind of thing. Investigation, like the sign says, with guaranteed results. I think... Well, listen, is it safe to talk here? The last thing I need is more trouble. Since you walked in that door and it closed behind you, your words are from my ears only. And if you think I can help, then I'm all ears. Fire away. I'm Natalie. Chalmers. GCN. Yeah, I, I know. I thought I recognized the face, but the name wouldn't come. The voice of Global Consumer Networks. And you come in talking to me about spying. <laughs> Quite the reputation we have, I know. But none of it's true. We take personal privacy seriously, and we'd never exploit... Well, I guess you don't really need the speech. I'm sure you've heard a million times. Katie, may I call you that? I think my life's in danger. First off, you got that sincerity thing down to a science, Natalie, and I'd believe you if you told me you had this amazing gadget that'd make me instantly invisible. And yeah, okay, Katie, if you must, though most people call me Cat. But here's the thing. You work for one of the most powerful multimedia conglomerates in the world. You're one of the most recognized faces on the planet, and you walk into the shabby office of some unknown, barely making her payments, investigative journalist to ask for protection. Something here just doesn't add up. I know it's all a bit unconventional, but I had to take unusual steps. I've always had someone looking out for me ever since I made it big at GCN. Corporate hires the best agents, but now... So Big Brother's decided you're a liability. You did something, you said something, discovered something, they think it's a threat, and now they're leaving you out in the cold? In a way, only I don't think they're satisfied with just leaving me to drop into obscurity. I, I think they're going to try and kill me. Natalie, you want a drink? I got the strong stuff, or a glass of that good, clean, semi-transparent stuff the city calls water. Yeah, a stiff shot of something might go down really well about now. Thanks. So, Natalie, you consider going to the authorities on this one? They're big news after all. They're set up to protect people, spirit you away if they need to be. I don't have that kind of pull. And who do you think pays the local police? Point taken. But I do know a few on the force that I trust. I could introduce you. You know, it's already too late for that. If you don't help me here and now, I probably won't live out the evening. You need this more than I do. I'll fill it up this time. Thanks. Really know how to give a person a choice, don't you? So, I hide you away in my closet, and the goons that come sniffing around after you will just take my word for it that, no, 
I've never seen you. You were never here. I don't think you really exist. Sounds easy enough. Right up to the moment they kill me and ransack the place. I'm sorry, Kat, to put you on the spot like this. But we do have a brief window, I think. A little breathing room before those corporate dogs come looking. I learned a few things from them over the years. They're probably figuring out only now that I'm not at my usual aerobics class. And your tracker. Embedded ID? Take a look. Is that your own handiwork? Nice, neat job. Hardly any blood, clean incision. In a week or so, it'll just look like you tried to slash your wrist and lost your nerve. So they don't know you're here. Put these on. At least you'll be less conspicuous. You got a plan? No, but before they get their DNA sniffers on the case, we need to erase the trail. Those drones move fast once they have the scent. I can almost feel them hovering right outside my window. It gives me the chills. What do you think? It'll do. Keep the hood down, your face hidden. Now, we just need a little of that blood. I tried to keep it covered and ran a wound wand across it. There shouldn't be much residue. And that's the problem. Drones trail you to here. If they lead their masters to my office, they know exactly how to track me down. No good. If we move fast, we can give the drones a stronger scent, lure them away from here. I'm thinking we head straight to the nearest unsavory casino. The sleazier and more criminally corrupt, the better. Give them a strong trail, a less than simple investigation. By the time they unravel the place and realize we skipped, the trail here will be cold and we might, if we're lucky, be in the clear. You ready? Not the wrist again, right? No, a simple pinprick ought to do it. First, let's get you back to your district entry point. How'd you travel? Subway. Hardest to follow the trail. Good. Let's get to the access, have you donate a few drops of blood, smear on the railings, lamp posts, like that. Then we hit Conzo's on 7th and Charles. I give them the good word, and we disappear into the early evening like ghosts. Tess, it's me. I got baggage. You cool with that? Always. Where are you? Close. Listen, you remember that system Alex installed? The one that makes such a god-awful racket until it's really going? That's the one. Turn it on. We're invisible and we need to stay that way. On it. And I'm granting plus one access. But you got a ten second window, so once you activate, boot it. Thanks, girl. See you in five. You trust her? With my life. Many times. We've been close since we were kids and she knows my business almost better than I do. Too bad she ended up in medicine. Her hours are even worse than mine. Doctor? Not yet, but close. Intern, practicum, some such crap. The years of dedication and patience would drive me bats. But she just sucks it up. I know the type. And who's this Alex you two talked about? When I'm ready for that, you'll meet him. In the meantime, let's just say he's a friend. Yeah, let's. Access confirmed. Cat, why are we taking the stairs and not using the lift systems? You said you'd picked up some of the tricks of the trade. Worst place to leave a trail is in the vertical shafts. Lingers there for hours. Stairwells these days are mandated by law to have independent circulation systems for fire safety. So we walk. And here's the floor. From this point in, stay right on my heels.
I just finished eating. Probably enough for you to have some kind of meal. But I'm on shift tonight, Cat. Sorry to greet and run, but hey, your timing sucks. Depends on how you look at it. You were in and that was pretty lucky. Before you go, let me introduce Kendra here. She's a dancer in that strip club down on West and South. <laughs> nice sweat top, Kendra. You don't really look like the basketball type. Yeah, I know. Too short. I'm only 185. It's just I admire the way they can move that ball. Listen, thanks for- If my sister Kat needs a place to crash, anything she wants that I can give, it's hers. So enjoy. And I'm afraid I'm out of here. Tess, I know you miss me already. I'll see you two in the morning, assuming you're still here. Hugs and kisses. So this Natalie's story checks out, and Alex says there's no hint at GCN as to why she's dropped off the radar. Two days she's been out of circulation. I guess they were keeping her locked down somewhere, and she managed to slip away because she could see the writing on the wall. Still, haven't asked her exactly what it's all about, but something big for sure. Why else would anyone in her position suddenly drop to the hit list? To be discussed. For now, though, it looks like we're in the clear here at Tessa's. And KK at Conzo's posts this nasty smiley, which tells me he's having a blast driving those corporate hounds crazy. They won't track us down. At least not yet. And Natalie finally asleep, so I better get a little shut-eye myself before the real shit goes down tomorrow. I don't know what I've got myself into, but I'm stuck with it now. And this couch feels too damn cozy. Who the hell are you? Get out of my head and stop fucking with my mind. You want to be gone. Leave me alone. I didn't ask for this. I don't want you here. So get lost and don't come back. You know for a second there you sounded just like me. Yeah, maybe I'm just going nuts and this is how it all comes apart. You know that security system? What are you talking about? The one Alexi installed in Tessa's apartment. There's an alarm. Something's wrong. Now it's my turn to ask you. Who are you? Better check that alarm. Or going nuts, me the least of your problems. Katja. My name is Katja. Holy shit! Natalie? Natalie, you awake? Jesus, I really must be losing it. Trying to sleep and all I can do is end up in an imaginary conversation with... What the hell is her name? Katja? The imaginary conversations, imaginary alarms... Or maybe... Just maybe not so imaginary after all. Liz, I might have guessed. Awake after all? You gonna tell me why you're outside this building setting off proximity alarms at 2 a.m.? Always the charm attack. Ever think I might have your best interest in mind? Do I really want to be out here at this time of night alone? All right, I get it. You're my best friend. I might even consider letting you in, but first... Your office. Main door, 30 seconds. Someday you and I are really gonna have to team up, Cat. I mean, we both keep the same company, hang out at the station nearly every day. Imagine what kind of work we get done if we put our brains together for once. Access confirmed. Due respect and all that, but you and I both know this is the only way. On the same job, we'd be at each other's throats inside ten minutes. You and me? Why would you ever think that? Right, you got the scruples of a crime lord, Liz. Anything for a price. And while we're on that... All in good time, my worthy competitor. Yes, by all means, let's get inside before the sparks fly. I'll draw much less attention. Alright, we're about as alone and isolated as it's going to get. Are you scoping out my friends now, or what? Scouting new business. Stories that'll keep the news feeds running for weeks. I think you know the ones. Picked up an internal from a contact at GCN. Word is... Big disappearance. Really. Great job, Liz. Your career's all set. So why, in the remotest corner of your far-reaching, scheming mind, would you think to come and talk to me about it? I found her, Cat. Knew she'd scurry for cover, ditch reminders, go to ground. 
And you know my reputation. Not the most emphatic, but I get the job done. Just so we're clear, who exactly are you talking about? Public image number one, a face any two-year-old would recognize. GCN's sweetheart of the Nets, Natalie Chalmers. And your lack of empathy told you... She can't go to the cops. Certainly wouldn't come to me for help. But you, charming and thoughtful, careful without being paranoid, she'd hear good things about you. So, like you said, I staked out your place. And? What can I say? I saw her arrive. Saw you two leave together, tailed you here. No offense, but bringing Tess into all this is not one of your brighter moves. I'd kill for a friend like her, and you put her at risk every time you show up here. But you probably already knew all that. More or less. So, really, Liz, get to the point. I got a stake in this too, you know. <sighs> no, don't give me your holier-than-thou crap. All right, my motives may be a little different, but I have her best interest at heart. And you need all the help you can get. Reluctantly, I'm listening. I went back to your office, after I'd found out where you'd gone. I got a creepy feeling about this, Liz. And you should. Whoever took the tracking Natalie Chalmers from GCN, they're scary good. They were at your office when I arrived. Saw them on infrared, running dark. Street gang collars, no corporate stuff. Knew they'd be on your fresh trail any time. We already led them a false trail, down to Conzo's. And I know for a fact they showed up there. This group's different, Kat. Yeah, Conzo's crew can take care of your average corporate hounds. But if this other team can track Chalmers to your office, they can follow you here? Jesus, Liz, how long? I showed them, Kat. Left a few false leads of my own on the way back over here. But I figure if we have an hour, we'll be lucky. And Tess? Tess can take care of herself. Natalie, on the other hand, is like a deer in the headlights. Thinks she's got the road clear in front of her, dazzled by all those years of propaganda, but one breath away from being splattered across the highway. Where can we take her? No matter what we try, she'll leave a trail those sniffers can follow, unless we break out of this place entirely clean. Give me a second. Katja? Katja, it's me, Kat. Are you there? I can feel you somehow, glowing all around me. Not as if I'm sleeping between you and those corporates, no rest for the wicked. You talk to Lisa? Listen, I don't know how any of this is happening, but either I've already gone off the deep end, or you're really there. So here goes. What do you know? That the squad after you has better tech than you've ever heard of, and the only way you're getting out of there alive is like the success to break out clean. And you know how to do that? I just did it, girl. Don't ask me how. But I think it has something to do with you. But I didn't do anything. I don't pretend to understand it. But I've been sensing you now for months, walking my path like a stalker, showing yourself while I'm asleep, driving me crazy. But I'm not crazy, and neither are you. We're linked somehow, that's all. Don't know why, and I don't know how. But earlier tonight, me in crisis, and you nearly there, it was like a blazing beam of light came across from wherever you are when we talked. And me and Natalie, Lisa too, we just walked right into it. They took hold, and I let it wash over me. It was like we were in suspended animation or something. As if we winked right out of existence. Just hovered there a few moments and everything around us sped up. Watched Alexei's security feed. GCN squad wandered about out on the street for a while, then gave up. We stepped in at 2.15 a.m. When I brought them back out, it was nearly 8. Except only about 5 minutes passed for us. Crap, that's like... totally insane. I really must have lost a few marbles out of this head of mine. You did what you want, but somehow all traces of us vanished when we stepped into that link. No DNA, no blood trails, nothing. Like that whole sequence of events had never happened. You've been to check? Your office? Oh, it was overhauled all right. They still know I'm connected with Natalia's disappearance, but they are off the scent. And now we are on our way out of here. So step into the light, Cat, while you still can and stay in touch. Cat, you okay? Kind of phased out for a moment. I'm not really sure. But I do have a crazy idea. Follow me. Natalie, get up. Get up and get over here. We are going to try something either entirely insane or so fucking inspired that it'll change all our lives forever. <sighs> Did they find us? Not if I can help it. 
Now both of you, put a hand on my arm and let's... <laughs>